welcome back to this perfume channel. Today's video is all about perfumes you need to have on your vanity. They're not only stunning, absolutely incredible bottles, so they look really presentable, but they also are just really approachable, unique and versatile scents that you can wear every single day to feel powerful, just smell beautiful. 10 out of 10, just the whole package. First up, we've got a really timeless and chic sort of a freshie and it is all Dardian, I think that's how you pronounce it, from Goutel. The bottle is absolutely beautiful. It looks like the older style bottles in its design, but the scent itself is citrusy. It's kind of green. It's a tiny bit herbal. To me, this is just a refreshing, cooling, a perfect, natural smelling fragrance for spring, summer. It really smells so positive. It got, it's got, it got this like old money, aesthetic sort of a smell to it. It's absolutely divine. And it's a scent profile that usually designers just don't do. This is a bit more unique, a bit more chic, and you should totally put it on your vanity and enjoy it. Next bottle that is probably one of my all-time favorite bottle designs actually, and I mean, I always look at photos on Instagram and I think, oh my gosh, this bottle looks amazing on vanities, but the scent itself is also amazing because we all know sometimes that cannot be the part of the perfume and then it's disappointing. But this one is from Parfum de Mali and this is Delina La Rose. This is a more watery, a bit more fresh, rosy scent than the Delina. It's in the Delina trio of perfumes, but this one is my favorite for every day and also to recommend to people because it's the most wearable, definitely out of the line. It goes perfectly in the summer, spring, winter, fall. You can wear it pretty much every day. It's super versatile, very attractive. It smells like stunning pink roses. The scent is just divine and I think nobody can ever hate this scent. Everybody will just say you smell beautiful because that's what the scent is and that's what the bottle is. So if you want something beautiful inside and out, Delina La Rose. Next is a scent that is, looks also stunning. Look at this bottle. It's a BTK scent. It's called Villa Neroli. This scent, like the bottle, is a bit more, um, I would say, holiday vibes, but in a rich way. It's not a typical freshie, I wouldn't say. This one is a gentle Neroli scent that almost smells like skincare to me. There is this a bit of this creaminess to this uh, Neroli that is very gentle. It kind of smells like self of France, like the vegetation, but with a bit of creaminess. It's incredibly calming and um, just something that you don't, you don't smell everywhere. And that's at least what I look in my perfumes. I don't want to smell like everybody else. Hopefully you do too. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you also are that person that searches for this perfume that nobody has. This brand is a bit more niche. It is a niche brand, but it, even in the scent, some niche brands don't have unique enough DNA for me, but this one definitely does. You should definitely have it on your vanity, looking and sitting pretty. Next, we've got another stunning bottle, Roger Parfum Essence. This scent in particular, they've got a lot in this sort of a bottle, so you can pick and choose, definitely, but I would suggest to you either 51 or reckless. I think those two are the most universally liked scents. And this one in particular, I would say, oh, it just smells beautiful. It's musky, it's a bit powdery, it's floral, but really gentle, pretty florals. This is like a floral bouquet. You can't necessarily pick out all the flowers, but together they smell absolutely stunning. It's um, the atomizer also on this one is so good. It's so fine. You literally 
feel like you're spraying um, hairspray on your body when you apply this. It's such a divine experience when you wear it. And to me, this smells like a very well-off lady living like somewhere in a very posh area of London, like wearing only white, something like that. This smells like that, beautiful and unique at the same time. Next proposition for you is something a bit different. So this is the fragrance oil from Tom Ford. They have oils as well and I really enjoy the shimmering particles in their fragrance oils. So you can pick up your favorite scent in this sort of a fragrance variation and not only does it look stunning, like look at the shimmer, uh, but also in the summer. I wore it uh, last summer and it gives you like the most beautiful tan sheen to your body and I'm very pale so I do appreciate a bit of a sheen but I think we all do. Uh, it smells stunning, it lasts forever, it's a dry oil so it's not too oily and it just looks absolutely great. This one is the Soleil Brulon and it smells very, um, I would say, burnt woody in like a holiday way. It's a very odd scent. I would say not everybody will like it, but I wanted to pop it in here because you can get the Blanc Soleil, which is much more of a universally liked scent. And also it's one of the best sellers. It smells milky, creamy. So I would actually go for that one over this one uh, for just my recommendation to you. But I personally really like this one. By the way, I'll link all of these perfumes down below, uh, samples as well as full size, so you can shop and test and do whatever you like with them. Next up, we've got a stunning mise en -cire fragrance. This is uh, by Alberto Morias that has created some of the popular fragrances like Armani Aqua di Gio, and he's got his own niche line. This is a fragrance called For Your Love, and it truly smells and it looks spectacular. Look at this bottle, how chic does it look with the little engraving at the top. This scent is very sweet, ambery. It's a bit spicy. It's, to me, a warm, a slightly fruity scent that really makes me feel beautiful and womanly and truly how this bottle looks. This is how you can expect the scent to be very refined, expensive smelling. And uh, to me, this is just something you should have on your vanity, whichever of the mise en fragrances you choose. This one in particular, I find that it is just beautiful on women. And if you love sweeter scents like Baccarat Rouge or Gentle Fluidity or something sweet like that and light at the same time, try this one out because it's just as beautiful. Next up, this list couldn't be made without uh, this one perfume that is just one of the best summer perfumes in my um, collection. And it is Hermes Eau de Roubaix Ecarlat. This scent is <laughs> So cute and it smells very simply of tart rhubarb. It works, it's incredibly refreshing, it cuts for the heat, doesn't last a huge amount of time. Yes, I have to admit that, but in the summer I feel like I really like to reapply my perfume and I'm usually not somebody who likes to reapply my perfumes, but in the summer I find myself like <laughs> having multiple showers a day sometimes so I don't mind applying this or when you're on holiday you like go to the pool you shower you change you go out for dinner and then you apply so it's I think it works in that setting so especially for hot summer days this is a classy beautiful fragrance that even many perfume snobs will be like oh my gosh Yes, you're doing things right because this perfume is very highly regarded in the perfume um, perfumery world. Let me know actually in the comments, what is your absolute favorite of all time perfume bottle design that you would feel proud to display on your vanity? Let me know in the comments down below, I'd love to know. And I'll see you in the next one if you subscribe. So subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one, bye.